Oh, we're totally about to sing this song. We're totally about to sing this song. Highway to the danger zone. Dun, 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 dun. Drive right into the danger zone. Dun, 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 dun. I'm going to stop now, but there we go. Today we're obviously talking about... Today we're obviously talking about trains. No, we're not <laughs> we're talking about airplanes, Tom Cruise. And of course... Well, not of course, because you guys don't know what I'm talking about, but we're going to be talking about Fallout. Well, Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible. Fallout's my favorite movie, but I want to talk about the Mission Impossible franchise. And have you seen the newest trailer? I believe the newest trailer, it looks good, but they have done a rush job on the trailer. This is just my personal hypothesis. A hypothesis, hypothesis, hypothesis. It's just my personal feelings towards the new trailer. The success of the newest Top Gun movie is, well, quite successful, as we all know, right? But they've botched the new Mission Impossible trailer because of the success of this top, new Top Gun movie. I'll talk about this today. Once again, this is just my personal thoughts, but with my, you know, hi hypothesis. Hypothesis. I'm going to stop saying that. But with that now coming to you guys, maybe you'll be agreeing with me, right? Now, I have not seen this new movie at the moment. I want to see it. I've obviously seen Top Gun. Who hasn't seen it at this point? I still want to see Top Gun Maverick. And now, uh, what I'm about to be saying doesn't really involve me wanting, doesn't really involve me having seen or not seen it yet, though I do want to see it. I just haven't been around to a cinema yet to go see it. Trust me, I will be soon. But anyway... Uh, yes, this is pretty much Tom Cruise's reaction right now, because Top Gun Maverick gives Tom Cruise his first ever $100 million opening weekend. Look, the guy's been around making movies for 30 plus years. He's, he's, he's a bona fide action star. How has he not made a $100 million opening weekend ever? How has that, is how, how is this even a thing? But apparently this is his first one. Congratulations, Tom, right? Why the enemy is never identified in the new Top Gun Maverick movie. Now, look, I've not seen the movie yet. Clearly, I'm going to see it. The raving reviews for it is quite literally, well... I'm, I'm in a dance club raving. They're raving, okay? <laughs> I want to see it. But, yes, it, I found that very, very interesting to hear, to, to learn that the new Top Gun movie, Maverick doesn't really declare the enemy. Who is the enemy, right? Well, obviously, the United States Navy and Air Force and Army and just basically the United States all together, okay? Uh, they're the biggest... Maybe not anymore. I don't know. You could say something about China, couldn't you? But uh, pretty much America is the biggest Army-Navy overall situation, Air Force situation on the planet, right? So, you know, if you have... As, as big as you are, right, you're going to have enemies. And we obviously know who, who's potentially America's enemies are. Potentially it's Russia and China, right? That's going to be the two big ones, the two big ones worth talking about. So I found it interesting that this new movie didn't actually apparently declare who the enemy was, you know, when they're dogfighting each other. <laughs> they're flying in the air and, you know, dogs are flying. I'm guessing that's how, how jet airplanes jet around you know there's dogs barking in the air i don't know i'm just being absolutely fucking ridiculous now but <laughs> apparently that that was an that was an interesting thing right they didn't actually identify the enemy there was just an enemy to keep diplomatic diplomatic relationships good i guess right top gun maverick beats or breaks box office records on opening weekend so there's obviously rave reviews regarding this this film i mean this movie could have obviously gone one of two ways right it well one of three right one of three ways it could have been an absolute bomb tom cruise and his production team and and all the people that worked on the film and, and you know the writers and the directors and the editors i mean all this 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 for nothing it could have absolutely fucking flopped it clearly didn't it's clearly Apparently better than the first one, which is why I obviously really want to see it. Haven't yet, but I'm going to be seeing it soon. But I mean, that, that's the first way it could have went. It could have went absolutely nowhere, straight to straight to freaking uh, straight to the to the oh, straight to to, to, the, to tape. Isn't that what they say? Straight to tape, you know. It, it could have been an okay film, but no one really cares about it. Or, but or, or of course, it's gone gone to the third one, which is absolutely everyone loves it. It's a really great film, apparently. 
Uh, so congratulations to Tom, because, you know, shit, that must have been an absolute huge thought on his mind, right? Uh, trying to get a film that, that actually works. I, I found this really, really interesting, and I will be talking about this at some point. Iceman, right? Val Kilmer, who's, you know, the poor bastard. He, he's had um, throat cancer. I saw the... I, did you guys see that, that movie, I Am Val? Or Val? There was a movie on Netflix. Or was it Amazon? I can't remember now. But it was about Val's life. And the movie focused all about him, the actual real actor Val Kilmer, and his cancer uh, diagnosis and the fact that he can't speak anymore. A uh, really interesting slash sad slash interesting film. If you've not seen it yet, go check out the Val Kilmer movie. I think it's, I think it's Amazon Prime. But I found it really, really interesting that they're able to bring him back, even though he can't fucking speak. I mean, he speaks like a robot, uh, pretty much like this. And I'm not making fun of the guy. If anyone thinks I am, I'm not. I'm just giving a demonstration to what the guy kind of sounds like. It's a mixture of Stephen Hawking and Stephen Hawking. Poor bastard, I know. But Tom Cruise apparently really wanted the guy back and the studio didn't. That's what I heard. I mean, fuck the studio, right? What Tom Cruise wants is what Tom Cruise gets. The mummy. <laughs> Did, did Tom Cruise have too much creative control in the Mummy movies? Did, is that why it flopped? And why is my hair looking so weird? I don't know, but that's just a whole nother question for a whole nother day. But anyway, what Tom Cruise wants, he pretty much gets. Enough of that freaking hair. Whew. But yes, they brought him back and they were able to use his voice using facial, not, not facial, using, uh, what was it? Augmented reality. No, I'm saying it wrong. I'm saying it wrong. Artificial intelligence sound so like photoshop but for voice you're able to with photoshop you're obviously able to fix you know, your stomach your your face whatever right but with with this new technology well, i can't remember what it's called now uh you're basically able to replicate anyone's voice as long as you've got a bit of a basis for what they used to sound like or still do sound like kind of thing right so uh you know they've got they had all this backlog the all the movies that he's ever done all the interviews that he's ever done uh, they were able to get that sound, those sound files, and teach the artificial intelligence to sound, you know, no longer like this. But now I sound like Val Kilmer, you know? So that was really, really cool. And I probably will be doing a video about that, a specific video about this at some point. Uh, going on to the quick thing, before I show you the trailer, because I want to show you the Mission Impossible uh, Dead Reckoning trailer. You, me, watch it for the first, well, we've probably all seen it by now. It's already got, what is it? Ooh, 9 million views plus views. So we're going to watch it together. Uh, I have already seen it, but I want to show you why I think they've completely rushed this trailer because of the success of the new Top Gun movie, okay? But before I do, I found this really, really interesting, right? You know, sequels that are better than the previous movies that came out, right? Well, The Dark Knight, Batman with, with uh, Christian Bale was a great one. It was a great freaking movie, but when, of course, when The Dark Knight came out, I mean, it blew it out the water. Uh, the Rescue was down under. I don't know. I've not, I've not seen this one, but I'm guessing that's a film based in Australia. Is that, is that what they're trying to say, down under? I don't know. Anyway, Rush Hour 2. Yes. Really, really great movie. Thor Ragnarok. Yes, that is actually a really good sequel. Yes. 22 Jump Street. Yes, also a great sequel. The, fir the first one was pretty good too, though. Hang on. What was the... What was the first one? Was it 21 Jump Street? I can't remember now. Anyway, there was, there was two of them, wasn't there? I'm guessing that's the second one. X-Men 2. Yes, absolutely fantastic freaking movie. Loved it. The first one was great, clearly. But yeah, Sister Act 2. Back in the habit. I have not seen it, unfortunately. Spider-Man 2. Who hasn't seen this one? Absolutely phenomenal movie. Uh, the train scene, how he's you know clinging up with the spider webs to the buildings and he's trying to... Ah, He's trying to stop the train. Fantastic uh, scene. You guys know me. I love trains. Okay. Shrek 2. Yes, it was pretty good. Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows. I think I've seen the first one, but not the second one. So I'll have to watch the second one now at some point. The Empire Strikes Back, of course. I'm hitting my lights everywhere in the studio. But of course, The Empire Strikes Back was freaking amazing. Uh, Terminator 2. Oh my God. Yes. My, this is actually my very, 
my, 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 how do I say it? This is my favorite movie of all time, period. Terminator 2, Judgment Day, the perfect blend of action, horror, suspense, drama, a bit of comedy. If you watch, I was gripping hold to a finger that didn't exist then, but anyway. Uh, if you watch the behind the scenes, there's uh, some, not behind the scenes, but if you actually, if you watch the actual DVD that has all the extras, all the extra shots that they didn't add, uh, there's like him smiling and doing a bit of a thing and, you know, there's the whole taking the brain chip out in the mirror situation. You guys know what I'm talking about, but <laughs> there's a few extra added scenes to uh, Terminator uh, to Judgment Day and it, it just makes the movie even better in my opinion. Mummy Returns. Yes, great movie. I've seen that movie many times, including the first one. The third one with The Rock. Was it The Rock? No, this one, was, this one had The Rock in it. The third one, set in China, wasn't the best. I'm pretty sure. I remember that one now. Captain America, The Winter Soldier. Great movie. Home Alone 2. Wow, yes, absolutely. The first was amazing. Two was even better. It makes you wonder why they didn't actually end up going down the third path, like... Well, we've got a freaking blockbuster here. Let's make another one. New York City, oh my God, everyone loves it. Why wouldn't they make a third one? At, at one point they did, but it wasn't Macaulay Culkin. It was some other kid. It was many, many years later and it was absolutely forgettable. Don't even watch it because it will spoil the memories of the first two. <laughs> Bad Boys 2, yes, it was okay. And finally, Toy Story 2, fantastic. Fantastic, yes. Fantastisch, I'm from Germany. Fantastic. Okay. Enough of the bagging people out that are live overseas. I'm not really bagging anyone out, but I'm just kind of making fun of them in kind of a way. But anyway, let's watch this trailer together and let me know if you see what I'm seeing with how rushed this trailer is, right? Let's go back to where we are. Can you guys hear it? Hopefully. Great trailer, just a little rushed. Your days of fighting for the so-called greater good are over. And this guy was in the first Mission Impossible movie, remember that? The tank, the fish tank that exploded. The chewing gum, red light, green light. Never mind. Head tilt. It's rushed. Definitely rushed. Mm, terrible. Looks good. I mean, it does look good, but it's rushed. The train scene, we've all seen that. I did a video about it on YouTube about the train falling off the edge of the cliff. So anyway, there we go. That's the new Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning uh, trailer. Now, when when trailers come out, I mean, they have to go all out for the actual, for the movie. They have to go all out for these trailers. They usually make, I think it's usually two two massive trailers, like the, the first version and the second version. Is there a third version? I don't really know. I know they make micro tra trailers, but when they make trailers, they have to go all out and, you know, sound hits to, to visuals on screen. So whatever happens on screen, they do sound hits like dun, 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 to the picture moving, you know. They miss a lot of marks in this trailer where they could have added special effects, especially special sound effects. They could have added more voice clips than they did. There's hardly any voice clips in this trailer. Um, really, really, it just feels like because of the success of Top Gun Maverick, 
Uh, you know, clearly, they, <laughs> no one expected Maverick to become this, as, as big as it is, right? I can't stop seeing it on, my, on Facebook. There's so many different articles recommended to me, like, wow. Okay, I'm going to see it, I promise, Tom. I, Tom, 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 hang on a second. I'm going to fucking see it, but, you know, shit. <laughs> Five stars, amazing, awesome, you know, all these different things. They, I reckon that they rushed this trailer out to get this trailer out because of the success of Maverick. Uh, what do you guys think? It's just a complete rush job, in my opinion. If you are used to watching trailers like I am, you will know what I'm talking about. There is just lack of voice, lack of sound effects to the actual visuals happening in the trailer. It was just the trailer. It was the trailer that I could personally fix in my video editing software in a day or two. Probably, you know, give me give me two days, and you know, let me let me make, let me make it nice for you, Paramount. Paramount, I would make it delicious for you, Paramount. Okay, uh, <laughs> we'll be eating it now. Are we? I don't know, but. Yeah, bit of a rush job, that's just my opinion, but it's still a movie I really want to see, obviously. And that's going to be, well, the Danger Zone situation, I just used some of the lyrics to, to make sure I was getting the, the words right before I, you know, when I started the video. But anyway, there we go. What do you guys think about this, uh, the situation? This is my favourite uh, Mission Impossible movie so far, by the way, Fallout. Fucking love the movie. The music, the music in this, in this movie, and this guy's character, Superman's character, awesome. Yeah, absolutely top mark, top top of the marks, top of the marks movie. What do you guys think? Uh, guys, we're on two different channels. This one, which is number two, where we make videos every day, kind of. And of course, channel one, where we do videos all around the world talking about this and that and this and that. Travel vlog, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, at TallboyGareth. Like and subscribe. Uh, Tom Cruise, if you're watching, which is, let's face it, you're not. But if you are, hey, we'd love to have come you come to the studio here in sydney western sydney uh australia someday and shit let's have a game or two i'm not sure what we're playing but i'm sure whatever we're going to play he's going to absolutely thrash me he's going to beat me so anyway that'll be fun uh, i've been told my name's gareth and i'll see you guys tomorrow so